and post it on YouTube after. Let's go ahead here. What's up, Raul? Yeah, I hope you're doing well. If I haven't answered your message in the last day or so, things have been a little backed up. We're gonna go over a few updates. Um, so yeah, we've got the recording going. So hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to our community update. It is September 15th, 2021. So just wanted to hop on, we'll go over a few things that have been you know, happening inside of the funded trader. I wanted to an answer a bunch of your questions as well. Um, I had you guys post some of those inside of the Discord. So we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to give away an account. So all you need to do is inside of Discord, come into the general tab. Um, just post one question that you guys have in here. I'm going to run through. I'll put this to the side here and I'll, I'll pull the questions and we'll we'll start to go through them but first of all you know I hope you guys are all all doing well this, the community has been growing pretty quickly um, and it's been pretty cool to see um, but that being said you know there obviously are going to be some growing pains um, last night or two nights ago we the website started to overload um, so there was too much traffic coming onto the website, amongst other things. We were trying to get some new plugins going um, to increase the speed of the website. And basically, uh, the traffic was too much. So we had to migrate over to another server. Um, so we did a server migration. And originally, we had a plan to take place on, I believe it was Saturday, um, but the hosting delayed the process we had to get approved all this good stuff um so we finally got approved and then we got uh transferred over to the new server so this will be good uh, it'll be able to scale up with us as we grow um now one thing that happened when we did the migration was pretty much um the checkout page like broke so we had two different developers working on the website and um, they weren't coordinated in what they were doing and the checkout page then broke so then we that happened yesterday so it was kind of out um for the whole day so then we finally got that fixed um so again just some uh back end you know website things as we were doing the migration but it is completed um at this point we do have there's this website that scores your performance your speeds everything like that uh, i think we were an f in that on that website which isn't too crazy uh, we looked at some of the other bigger uh, prop firm websites and they all score relatively low they all are at f c or um i think the best one was a b um we we actually are scoring at an a at the moment right now we'll see how long that lasts uh, but definitely some good improvements that came from doing the migration and then the checkout page is fixed um, Stripe is fixed as well. So Stripe is back on there. So yeah, if you guys want to sign up, everything is good to go. And I'll get into in a second, um, kind of some of the new updates. Blake is also going to be doing a video that he'll be putting out on his page that is going to go over things more in depth, but I just wanted to just to come on and, you know, share you guys. Cause a lot, a lot's been going on the last few days. Um, we obviously have the new dashboard let's start off though with the leaderboard so leaderboard obviously is closed you can join the leaderboard by the eighth of the month every single month for you guys that are new maybe watching this on youtube um we have a free leaderboard that you can enter again you can enter by the eighth of the month um this is to simulate um basically our challenge so for you people that are not ready to purchase a challenge that want um, an opportunity to take it for free. Basically, you submit your FX book links, you follow. What you would do is click here. You would follow all the instructions on how to get set up. There's also some explanations on how this all works right here. So it's basically a huge giveaway. Um, so you submit your link, the top three people that finish for the month uh, based on percentage that don't fail, uh, they will get rewarded. The first place will get a, a 200K account. Second place will get a 100K account. Um, and then 
third place will get 50% off. Uh, so that's live right now. We've got, as you can see, a bunch of people, probably over a hundred people that are in that right now. Um, and the, the leader, so it's saying the leader has 350% gains guys. This right now, um, it could, it could not be accurate, right? Some people are just hail marrying the account and making 350%. Raul appreciate the comment, man, on the hairstyle. Definitely trying to, you know, keep it professional over here. No, but um, Josh, posting free signal, shake my head. So, yeah, the, the performance uh, points, guys, this is calculated based on if uh, you make 350% times that by 10, you have 35,600 points. That's just how we have to do it with the plugin uh, that we're using. This, again, is not accurate. Like, this guy probably failed. I think last month, the winner actually was in like 11th place because all these people failed to set it up correctly. Um, so one thing, I'm trying to get myself out. One thing I will say is, uh, guys, if, if you're low on the leaderboard, like focus on yourself. So fo stay in your own lane, focus on yourself. You could win and be in 30th place because of the fact that some of these people are failing at the top. I'm going to actually make a, an effort today to go through and to remove um, some of these people at the top that are that have failed so it's a more you guys have a more like honest picture as to what's going on but don't worry about this guys like trade your account at the end of the month you know you could win with it i think third place last month only made eight percent uh, because they followed all the rules and everyone else plopped it so make sure it's set up correctly you know make sure you guys um, are trading it honestly and following all the rules um, yeah, it's free. It's completely free. So, you know, get set up, follow the instructions here. Again, by the eighth of the month, you can submit it. Click this link. I put together step-by-step -step instructions, how to create um, an FX book live. So you guys have to create this. And I, and I might have a change coming to this for next month, just because an FX book has a new feature where they live track your accounts. I think it's $5 per month. Um, so I might add where you guys have to do that because, again, it'll make it a more honest kind of approach. Um, you can participate in the leaderboard this month, but next month you certainly you certainly can. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of how you get this going. You do have to be signed in to submit your link on there. So make sure you guys create an account and get signed in. Um, other than that, we have the funded trader leaderboard. This in the last week or so has been um, uh, not buggy, but basically we had to update the process here we, you can see here we're having some issues with this like you have to like scroll whatever um so we're having our developer work on this at the moment but basically we're going to change it um where you'll be able to see now the weekly profits um let's see if i can get this so i can't get this at the moment it's like all busted but we're, we're having our developer work on this today Basically, this is going to show our funded traders um, their profits for the week. So you'll see who's made what during the week. Obviously, you know, some people are making more than others. And our goal would be for these people to be making 100K. You know, that's what we're trying to hit. That's how it's set up right now. You guys can leave a comment here, um, you know, if you guys have any questions or whatever. Uh, but this is for motivational purposes, guys. See how other people are doing. You know, see who the king is see who the heir to the throne is, you know, see who's performing the best. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's the whole purpose of that. So that's the profits. Again, you know, that is fairly new. We're working through a bug on this, but it will be corrected today. So we'll get that fixed for you guys. So next, let's go over give me one second. Make sure again, you guys go into Discord. If you're not in Discord yet, go into Discord, go into the general, general tab right here, submit a question. This will be your admittance to the giveaway. So submit your question here. And we, I will uh, basically pick a winner of the giveaway at the end of the live call. Please add the live feature. What is, uh, oh, okay, so Darren, you're saying for the FX book. Yeah, the, the live feature will track your equity curve a lot better. Um, so we're going to definitely look to add that as soon as possible. Let's see. All right, so now we're gonna go over, we're gonna come over to the new dashboard, guys. So this person, I apologize, Jerry, Napilia, Napilla, you're, you're a guinea pig here. We're gonna use your account because you passed, so it looks great. Um, this is the new dashboard, everyone. If we want to actually go ahead and direct ourselves like inside 
of our account. You're going to go to my account here. I'm going to go over one thing that has been um, kind of confusing for people because of the fact that we had our old dashboard, which was integrated right with the um, with this button right here. Um, all the accounts that basically were purchased before last week, they are still on the old dashboard, guys. So if you didn't receive an email, I'll try to pull up what the new emails look like. But basically, if you didn't receive instructions in your login email with uh, how to access the new dashboard, then you are still on the old dashboard. You're going to want to come into here. I'm not logged in right now, so it's not going to bring it up. But you're going to want to come into here. You're going to want to go to your account settings. You're going to want to follow the instructions, set that up. Anybody that's purchasing a new account, you guys are now on the new dashboard. Uh, once we transfer everyone over from the old one, we'll, we'll then replace this button with this button. I know at the moment, you know, this button's kind of underwhelming. You know, it is what it is. But if you go ahead and just select this new dashboard, you're going to go ahead and log in. Um, so the login is sent in your email when you sign up. So the login is going to be the same um, from now on inside of your account. Once you log in, let me just go back on this. Once you actually log in, guys, this is the screen you're going to see. All of your accounts will now be listed in the top left corner right here. Um, and then let's go over a few things. So it's going to say what phase you're in. So this person actually passed phase two. Um, it's going to say new challenge right here. So if you want to go ahead, purchase a new challenge, um, this will lead you directly to our checkout right here. And we'll go over the checkout page um, in a little bit because we want to we're making some other changes to that, but I'm gonna go over this in a little bit, but that'll lead you to the checkout page. And then we've got um, obviously the dashboards, you've got your account equity. So this is what your account is at, you know, based on the equity. Uh, this is your goal meter. So obviously you hit the profit target, no daily losses at the moment, no max losses, obviously active trading days eight. We were having an issue where over the weekend, the active trading days weren't updating. That was a bug that's now fixed. Um, just with the launch of the new dashboard, there's going to be bugs here and there, but for the most part, everything is, uh, is pretty much fixed at this point. So, um, yeah, so active trading days is good. We've got your time since inception. So this is pretty much once, um, you started, I guess, trading on the accounts, this is the start date end date. Um, so that's going to start. It now starts on your first trade guys. So before it was 35 days, um, from your when you receive the account it does start from your first trade now so if you do purchase an account and you you know don't want to start trading yet because you don't have a setup whatever you can start trading uh you know next week whatever after i think 60 days the account will expire so if you legit go on vacation or go mia for 60 days and then you try to trade um it, it's not going to let you and you're going to have to hit up the website and it will obviously give you a new account but don't try to you know go on a castaway after buying an account. You'll see here in the bottom right, you get some more statistics here. Um, we are gonna try to add some things to this as well. We're gonna try to add open trades. So like, it'll just show what open trades are there. Um, I'm gonna come over now to the account history right here. Um, so this is gonna show again, have you breached any? So if you had, had any violations right here, on the back end of our server, previously, how we were doing all this is we had some internal ways to track your accounts using a combination of FX book, FX blue, a manual process. Um, now it's all completely automated. So basically each account is being set up with what you can call an EA that tracks the equity. Um, so as soon as there is a breach on the account, guys, you will be notified right away. And in the back end of our system, which I'm not going to obviously show you, but we will have there's a screen where we can see the exact time the exact moment the breach occurs so we can send you that trade so we don't have to do manual reviews anymore it's audited live um which is obviously great you can see here profit target reached minimum days match so this got passed here's all this trade data right here we're going to try to add to this some more what's really cool about the new dashboard guys is it's all automated so when you purchase an account you will get an account instantly you will get an account literally within three minutes of purchasing it will be sent out to you right now the only thing that's not set up is the crypto payment so if you pay by crypto um it will be delayed because of the fact that we're working on 
getting the automation set up. It's like a little bit different because when you buy with crypto, it has to confirm on the blockchain. So it's like a delayed kind of process. So we're waiting, uh, we're waiting to get that implemented. But yeah, once you purchase, the whole entire process is you purchase, you get an account within literally three minutes. Um, you start trading on your first trading day. If you breach the account, you will be failed instantly. You will get a notification via email. Obviously, you know, if you guys want to find out more reasons why you failed, you can contact support. They can pull that information for you. Um, but if you pass, you will automatically, and, and right now it's set up where if you pass, you will then get a new account sent to you. So you'll basically get upgraded from phase one to phase two instantly. Um, but we're going to put a delay on that because of the fact that um, we don't want people to basically pass phase one and then they're still in the same setup and then they potentially trade phase two um, and then pass phase two, right? So we wanna have a little bit of delay. So we're gonna probably put like a 12 hour delay on the getting the phase two account. We're working on getting that implemented um, right now, but it's all automated as well. And then the retries are the same thing. If you guys, you know, don't, hit the profit target and after 35 days um you end above the balance and you end you know obviously you end in profit don't don't violate any rules then you will automatically be sent a retry account before how this was all set up is you have to go to the website do an account review request um and then we would review the account obviously took a little bit longer one to three days so now that's all completely automated for all the old accounts that are still on the old dashboard you still have to go through this process. So if you were sent an email with, uh, with an FX blue link, you know, you're, on, you're on the old account. So you still have to go through the old process. If you're on the new dashboard, you don't really have to worry about anything. Once you pass phase two, it will not automatically upgrade you to be a funded trader because we have to send you the, uh, the trader's agreement. You've sent us your IDs, the KYC verifications and stuff. Um, so that's obviously a little bit different, but all the funded traders are on the new dashboard now. They're all trading on here, which is obviously good. Um, we'll get into the profit share aspect of this. This is going to basically show um, what you guys are owed. For funded accounts, it's going to look a little bit different. You'll be able to uh, basically process your withdrawals on here, um, but you know we're not on a funded account right now, so that's not going to display. So this is basically the new dashboard. Again, Blake's gonna do a video to cover really all of this. Um, on the top of my head, that is pretty much everything in regards to the automations, guys. So, you know, those are rolled out, those are live. All new accounts will be on the new dashboard. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's now live. Let's see here. See if we have any other updates on the home page. I think we had like one more thing. We had to take down this picture, but now it's back up. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna get into the Q and A. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen for one second here. And I'm just gonna pull up. Uh, like I did last time, I'm gonna write the questions on like a sticky note and then that way you guys can see what question I'm actually answering at the moment. And then we'll go ahead and just rip through all these. So if you guys haven't answered yet, we're doing a giveaway inside of the Discord. Post in there uh, one question that you have. That way we can do, 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 do. Let's see if I can get this right. Here we go. That way we can, um, oh, that way we can just go over everything you just want to do and you guys will be answered into the giveaway. So I'm going to go in here see this uh, i see creedy you just said when will all these automations be live they're already live you know they're already good to go right now let's see let's come back and let's get started all right so this is a pretty common question that we've been getting what is the process for scaling a 100k count Let me just delete this to 1.2 million so this is explained in the faq guys this is explained in the faq um if you still want a, a further explanation what i can do is i can put together um pretty much a video that will explain exactly how this works but let's go ahead and just go over it real quick so 
The scaling plan, how it works, you guys obviously have to be funded. The accounts will be viewed after three months. If the trader has been profitable at least two out of three months with an average return of 6% over the three month period or a 2% return monthly for three months, they become eligible for an account set. So it's not actually that crazy um, to hit this. If you, for example, let's walk through, if you have one month where you're up 10%, the next month you're up 2%, the third month you're up 3%, right? So 10%, 2%, 12, nine, and then divided by three. So you average 3% uh, per month, then, so basically you would then qualify for the scaling plan. We would add 25% to the original balance. Um, so if you started with 100K, you'll then bump up to 125. If you started with 200, you'll bump up to uh, 250. If you have three 200K accounts, obviously you're gonna bump up pretty dramatically. Each one's gonna bump up 50K. And then this will happen all the way to 1.5 million. We are going to actually change this. Um, I think it's gonna be, a little bit more aggressive, but we have to wait for a few things first that we're building um, to be able to do this. Um, but I will say this is going to be changed and improved um, pretty soon. So, so look out for that guys, scaling plan. We definitely want to uh, provide like a better, a better scaling plan. All right, so we've got some, some simple questions in here. Does your company provide stock trading or plan to provide U.S. share in the future? Uh, we do provide stock share at the moment. Pretty much anything that's available by the broker, you guys can trade. That's the way that we have it set up right now. So um, for those that don't know, we now have two different brokers, Nash Markets and Purple Trading, um, Seychelles. So originally we had an FX choice. Everyone was complaining, you know, spreads, everything like that. So we went ahead, you know, listen to you guys, got the two new brokers. If you guys want more information on the brokerage, um, come into the broker tab right here. And you can see I posted some links. We've got the uh, download links for their MT4s uh, for the desktop. And then here you can see what the spreads are for different pairs, the different types of, um, you know, the, all the pairs and the, and the spreads. And then you've got down here the same thing with purple trading, download link all the different uh, symbols and all their spreads, the average spread. I took a little screenshot side by side. Obviously this changed with the time of the day, so it's not fairly accurate, but just for the sake of having it, you guys can see kind of what the spreads are. From my own experience, purple trading has better spreads for gold. Um, FX, they're fairly similar. They're both raw. The only thing giving purple trading the edge right now is the fact that uh, the commissions are $5 round turn. And Nash Markets is actually ten dollars round turn. So obviously that's a little bit, you know, a little bit different. Let's see. Let's go to our next question. Yeah, I'm gonna actually explain the the, the copy trading and how that works. Um, make sure you post your questions inside of the Discord. I see some of you guys in the live chat posting them. Uh, we can't add IC Markets just because they are not willing to work with us. Um, it's not a matter of just literally allowing any broker guys. We need specific access to their backend applications. Um, and luckily Nash and Purple Trading has given us that access. Uh, but for the most part, you know, a lot of brokers that we reach out to, they don't want to give us that for one reason or another, um, whether they don't see the potential of doing that because it's all demo, so it doesn't really matter to them. Um, whatever, you know, so I see Marcus is like one of those that just doesn't want to, doesn't actually want to participate, which, which is fine, which is okay. I will say the goal is still for us to open our own broker. Um, that is still something or realistically, like we are in the final stages of finalizing a contract for that to happen. Um, so look out for that guys. That's going to be coming very soon. We're just trying to make sure that we're working with the right partners. Um, to kind of get that thing going. So let's go ahead, let's move up here and let's get another, all right, so here we go. This is the question that everyone wants answered right here. Oh my God, I'm gonna just go ahead and type it out. So are your live accounts actually attached? 
to live funds. So currently the way that we have it set up, yes, we do have the live accounts attached to live funds. We have like a, we're gonna actually do a video. So Blake's gonna do a video to explain how all this kind of works with the prop, prop funding. Um, basically what you have to realize is if, if Joe Schmo passes a 100K challenge, uh, it's the same way as a brokerage. I'm not gonna get too into it, but basically the 100K account isn't um, traded as like a standalone thing, right? There's a master account, right? With all the money for the firm, all the money for the brokerage. Um, and that master account is being fed order flow. Whether that order flow is from all of the accounts together or just from the funded accounts, whatever, that order flow is what's being utilized to make profit on our master margin account, right? So the goal for our business, and this is getting very in depth and you, know, you guys probably are maybe hearing all this for the first time, is the goal for the business is to grow the margin account, grow our master account. That way we can facilitate the payouts, you know, that way, as a firm, we're utilizing all the data, right? So we're gonna get more in depth as to how all this works because everyone right now is, is so fixated on um, the, the concept that, that these firms pay people out with signups. Now, um, even myself about nine months ago before I got into this space, I thought the same thing. I was like, wow, they're selling 4,000 accounts a month, you know, millions of dollars coming in revenue. And then all these firms are showing, you know, X amount being paid out. They're just covering it with, with uh, sign up fees. But the fact of the matter is, guys, this is not true. This is not true. The sign up fees is certainly a huge profit for the business, right? It's a huge, I shouldn't say profit, revenue stream for the business. But this is a multifaceted business. The prop firm um, has multiple entities. Like it's not what you think, right? The goal of the firm is to use the data to grow the account. That's the goal of the firm. Um, and, and like some people say in the chat, as long as the firm pays out, it's not a big deal. Yeah. So a lot of that's, that's the thing though. Like it's not just about be paying out guys. Like if we pay out, it's great. But at the end of the day, people want transparency. They want to know like uh, the same way when you work with a broker where you're depositing, is there an actual accredited bank, bank uh, behind this brokerage, right? Where is your money going into? So people want to know with the prop firm, like how is this? Uh, how is this all being facilitated? How are these payouts happening? Um, so it's a very sophisticated thing. I will say this is something that we've learned that all prop firms are doing. I, I know funding talent and they, um, not to comment on them, but I guess people are saying that they pay out with um, the sign-up fees. I have no idea. I don't really know anything about funding talent. I will say this, Jessica, who is the owner, we from Forex League previously have uh, you know, relationship with her, you know, whatever as colleagues. And, you know, I think highly of her, you know, she, she's definitely working hard and I wish them success, right? I'm not going to sit up here and uh, blast anyone. So I, you know, whatever they're doing, you know, as long as they pay people out should be fine. Same with us. You know, I want to be more transparent though. And I want to operate as a real fun, like a real firm. Like I don't want to, uh, go that route. I think it's too risky, uh, to be honest. So, so yeah, that's some transparency on that for you guys. Let's go ahead and move to the next question. This is a good question as well. Let's see if this copies over. Oh man, doing this whole Discord thing is not turning out to be too good. All right, so we have, is there a difference between live market trading and a demo trading account? This is a very like, not to say that this is a dumb question, but this is a very beginner, beginner question because there obviously is a difference between the demo market and the live market guys. Like the demo market doesn't have execution into the liquidity provider. So when you are trading in a demo market, you get instant execution. So when you take, this is why it's an issue with indices, with high lot sizes, when you take 50 lots on your USD on a demo account, it doesn't actually look for, uh, say you're taking a buy, it doesn't look for sellers to execute. It just fills it immediately, right? So you're getting instant execution that is not simulating what a live market will get. In a live market, you might get a delayed, um, you might get a delayed execution. You might get, um, you might get some slippage actually on the trade. 
some of the brokers actually uh, do pyramid with your lot. So if you're taking high volume, they might execute some, this is like a very complex kind of thing to explain, but they would execute some of the lots at one price, some of the lots at another price, some of the lots at another price. So it's like a pyramided entry, right? And that's like for their execution into the liquidity. Um, so it's a very different market, guys, when you're trading demo and you're trading live. Um, and that's why when you're trying to copy demo over to live, there can be some slippage, there can be some difference because the pr it's just the pricing is different. The execution is different. Um, so that's why for us, one of the things that we're looking to do is actually, let me go back to the homepage here. See this? One of the things we're looking to do is all the funded people, as we get this thing sorted out, are going to be on live accounts. That's an important thing for me personally to get pushed through. Um, and we'll get into how everything's set up again in a future video. Blake will put that video on his page. It's going to be super interesting. Um, but basically, um, we're, all the accounts will be on live accounts. This will simulate the live market more. Right now, we have a rule for indices where you can't enter on funded accounts more than 0.5 um, per position. So there's no lot size cap, but you have to uh, enter in max 0.5. Um, once we get a live account, that'll go away. So there won't be, there won't be anything in there as well. Do, do, do. Let's see, you guys are doing great in your first few months. What's your next big move for your prop firm and Forex League? I mean, one of the things that we have, I'm gonna add this one in. One of the things that we have here um, kind of in the works is we really want to create a sense of community around what we're doing. I think that's a lack in some of these other firms is it's very like disconnected from the people. Uh, we definitely want to create a good sense of community with everyone in doing that. We want to provide incentives to funded traders. So people who are doing well, we want to do extra giveaways every single week, potentially um, have some sort of rewards program where people can earn trips, people can earn you know, items, people can earn different experiences based on how they're performing. Like we want the high performers to want to be on the funded trader. We want the people who make money to be trading with the funded trader. Um, and we want to give them more opportunities than these other firms are giving. Now, there are some ideas in the back of my mind on how we can do this. You know, we are looking, uh, Forex League is looking to start a fund, or should I say, uh, not Forex League, but some of the partners that are in Forex League. And potentially even provide some opportunities for these traders to invest in other opportunities as well. So there are some things in the back end that we are looking into, you know, just some cool ideas that we want to definitely bring um, to you guys soon. And obviously when, once that's good, we'll, we'll update this. All right. So let's go on to the next question here. We've already been on about 40 minutes. So we're going to go another 20 minutes or so, and then we'll do, we'll do a little break on it. Let's go next question. Oh man, right, let's see. This one is how is the daily loss limit calculated? Let me see if I can change this. We got the, we got the color wheel up. Yeah, no, here we go. All right, so how's the daily loss limit violation calculate is it similar to ftmo absolute drawdown or maximum drawdown all right guys go go to on the home page you can see we have our youtube page guys go to the youtube page and we have videos on here for a reason on here you guys will be able to um see what the explanation is for the drawdown i think blake's is actually connected right now we got to connect ours but um let's go back here if you go to our youtube page you'll be able to see there are videos inside of Discord as well. Bring this up inside of the evaluation FAQs. Um, you guys can come up here to two, 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 two. max daily loss, max total drawdown, explanation. One thing that has been updated with the new dashboard, guys, is we are now calculating this similar to FTMO. Um, it is fixed based on the initial starting balance. So before we did have a more variable um max daily loss so if you made is this, how can i say this if you made if you went up from fifty thousand to fifty one thousand, then it would be six percent of your start daily starting balance so you'd have a little bit of a cushion maybe extra few hundred bucks 
Um, now it's just based on the original balance. So it's 3,000 uh, every single day, the daily losses, it resets, obviously at the end of the day. And how it's calculated is basically balance plus equity drawdown. So for example, if you have a 100K account, if you lose one trade, you're now down to 99,000. And then the next trade, you enter and you draw down $5,000, 5,000 plus being already down 1,000, you hit the equity drawdown, you hit the drawdown of 6%. So you lost, to, you went down to 94,000. You'll be reported as violated inside the system um, and you'll be notified that you failed the challenge. Now the maximum loss obviously is fixed. So it's if you have a $100,000 account and you go down to 12%, uh, so that would be 88,000, then you, know, you fail the account outright and lose. But the maximum or the daily loss obviously is um, based on the start of the, the day. So it's if you're up, you know, for example, this guy, say he was up 52,000 uh, right now, and then he drew down 6%, he drew down to do 3,000, you know, he would fail, even though he's in some profit, he would fail that daily loss. Again, more explanation on that on YouTube. So go check that out inside the Discord too. You guys can find more information on that as well. You guys are just joining please go into discord write a question you'll be entered in the giveaway um and we'll pick a winner at the end of this call we're going to give away a 50 50k challenge yes to dd plus running trade loss exactly all right let's see any incorporate uh corporation of c trader mt5 in the future mt5 is going to be coming soon so mt5 will be coming soon guys we're working on that that's kind of the next um phase after we get done with this whole dashboard thing so long so that's the next phase c trader though we don't have a broker right now or actually we do purple trading offers c trader i believe um but we don't have that integrated with the dashboard so we're gonna we're gonna work on that for the end of the year um explain the challenge again real quick i missed it um if you want the full explanation like what the challenge is i would just go through the youtube go through uh, the website and you guys can, you know, you can uh, get some more explanation on that. Do you have direct funding program? If not, are you planning in the future? Yes. Now that we have all this automation set up, once we kind of clear all of this, this is so annoying. Once we kind of clear all of this and get it set up the right way, um, we are going to start to offer direct funding and we'll start offer instant funding and like aggressive challenges. Um, but Blake will give updates on that. He's, he's sort of in charge of creating the programs because obviously he knows uh, a lot about the space and and obviously like listens to you guys and listens to all your feedback do 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 let's see what if you blow your account your funded account on the second day can you try again yeah we do have a rule guys where if you blow your account on the first day you are banned from the firm so if you have a funded account and you blow the account literally on day one you just are training recklessly and we don't want to work with at the end of the day, like just point blank. Um, we don't want to work with you. It doesn't make sense to work with you got work with you because you're so reckless that you literally earned a funded account on the first day you failed. Like, come on. You know what I mean? Um, two, let's see. Let's get, can we trade weekends? Yes, guys, we trade weekends. Um, that's what I found. We have another question about the copy trading. So if you want to know more information about the copy trading, how that's all facilitated, how that all works, we're going to be putting a more in-depth video. We might even be interviewing someone from the technology company that we are working with that's helping us do all of this. Um, so that's going to be something that's going to be really interesting in the future. Will there be more payout options in the future? I mean, guys, what, what payout options do you really want at the end of the day, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know what other payout options we can really offer, right? Um, right now we have TransferWise, BTC, um, to, to PayPal, we did have, I don't think we have PayPal anymore though because PayPal sucks, but Skrill, Netler. Yeah, we can look into Skrill. I think Skrill is an option uh, that, that people would you know, be interested in having. So we can definitely look into Skrill if that's something. Uh, so they have, this is actually a good question here. 
purple training is different from purple training Seychelles, right? As the spreads on Seychelles are better than the regular purple training. And only on Seychelles do you get the raw behind the names. So I just want to confirm. Um, yes, pur no, purple trading Seychelles is actually the same as purple trading. At least they're run by the same management. They are separate entities. They can accept different uh, clients. Seychelles is their new entity. It's more international than purple trading. So they will be able to accept more clients than usual. Um, the raw spreads that we have are exclusive to Seychelles. And we, we uh, you know, worked with them to get these available to you guys for a reason because of the fact that everyone was complaining so much about the spreads on FX choice. We wanted to make sure there was a very reliable broker available and the spreads on there are great. Gold is great. I have an EA myself that runs on um, the gold uh, gold on purple trading and it's it's actually run, I believe, on the, the regular purple trading. So the Seychelles is even better, but gold spreads are definitely really low. It's like one pip, which is obviously great. Um, but yeah, so similar, same management, different entities, guys, but, you know, very, very similar, very similar things. Let's go here. And for those that don't know, Purple Trading is available, you know, so you guys can, can check out that. Uh, this is a good question. We've had a bunch of people ask this one. Can you still get a payout on your profit after you breach the daily or max drawdown? So we have a rule as a firm that you need to make it to your first profit split to become eligible for profits, guys. So if you purchase an account, let's go to, to like out here staring off in the distance. If you purchase an account uh, or if you get a funded account, you trade the first month, you make it 30 days. Um, and then say in the next month, you're up 55,000, right? Or let's do a hundred K count. You're up 12% of the hundred K. So you're up to 112. And then you hit the max daily drawdown or the, the daily drawdown, you lose 6% in a day and you fail, you will be eligible for that 6% left over. You will be paid the 6,000, right? Um, if you don't make it the first 30 days, guys, if you blow, if you go up, someone went up literally like 30% the first month, they, they weren't eligible for profit splits. They were trading very recklessly and then they uh, blew 12% a day and failed. You, you're not eligible for splits. Um, that's, that's how it works. We want people to make it through the first 30 days, you have to become eligible for payouts to get payouts. Um, all right, let's see this one. This is a, an interesting question here. I figured out a method to make it work. If I start with a 50K account and buy more challenges to get to 600K every three months, will the balance only increase by one fourth of 50K or 600K? Um, so I don't, Trying to think, other than buy more trying to get to the past, I want to push back over 450 k or host. That's an interesting question. I actually don't know what this person means. Uh, the way that I'm going to interpret this is if you purchase 50k accounts periodically and you continue to earn money, um, how it works with merging. So if you purchase 50k account today, in three months, you get another 50k account, you pass both of them you can only merge them once you're profit split eligible. So on your once you are eligible for a profit split, you can then merge the accounts. If you're in the middle of trading in the middle of the month, uh, we're not gonna necessarily merge those accounts together um, because of the fact it just, it's kind of a nightmare for us to do, at least right now. So we're gonna wait until you're eligible for the profit split. Once you do a profit split, you can come down to your original balance, we'll merge the accounts. And pretty much when we merge them, we'll be issuing you a new account, which is why I say, you know, we can't really do in the middle of the month. So, so that's how I interpret that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, here. Can I withdraw through an LLC? Um, right now you can't withdraw through an LLC. Um, if you wanted to, the best way I can advise you is basically to use BTC, um, withdraw with BTC, and then you can, you know, withdraw from your BTC, whatever wallet that you have into your LLC. Um, we have to do the withdrawals um, to the name that you provide with the ID. You know, in the future, maybe we'll be able to do that, but right now we, we can't do that. Do you have any lot size or any stop loss restriction? When were the TFT hoodies and cap available for purchase? Uh, soon, we just did a test order of about 30 of them. So we're gonna give those away to people. They did come out pretty cool. so. Do you have any stop loss restriction? No, 
no stop loss restrictions, guys. I know some of the other firms have it. Maybe in the future we'd look into that. Right now, that's not that's not a rule for us. In your opinion, why do most traders fail? I think statistically, what we're seeing is most traders are failing because of the fact that they're over leveraging. They're using too high of lot sizes. They're not using stop losses. They're drawing down more than three percent in one day, so they're not walking away after losses. Um, and then when they're winning, they're getting too greedy and they're blowing their winning, their, their wins. That's what we're seeing. What if you blow up your funded account on the second day? Can you try again? Yes. I don't know. That was me. My bad. Do, do, do. Okay, this is a good, this is a good question. If you have two 100 k accounts and I don't want to link them and I hit the max daily loss on one, will they be taken from me? No. So if you have them separate, they will not be taken from you. If one of them violates, you still have your other funded one. So this is, this is an interesting question here. Justice Yardy might have to hire this man for IT security. He's got an interesting question here. So hold on. Here we go. What are your data backup and disaster recovery plans? How quickly could you get back into business if your building shut down? I think that's something that we're exploring right now with our attorney. Uh, we definitely have to invest more into the infrastructure, like the, you know, the backing up of the website and our servers and everything like that. Our technology is sound, so that will never go down. I think the only threat at the moment would be pretty much what happened yesterday with us, uh, our, our old server not being able to handle all this new additional volume. And now that we have uh, migrated to a new hosting provider, they'll be able to scale with us. So, you know, from that standpoint, we're pretty sound. Um, now in regards to say there was like a lawsuit or something against the firm, or should I say against our entity, the way that we have ourselves set up legally, uh, we've been advised by an attorney who works with tens of, you know, twenties of prop for pro different prop projects around the country, around the world. Um, and he's advised us on how to set this thing up the right way so that the way the money's going, moving and everything like that, the way we're paying people out um, is, is very sound and is, is set up legal, like within the US. The US has tons of regulations and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so we're pretty confident, obviously in the worst case scenario, um, if the business did get shut down, if there was some reason that, you know, we had to close our doors, whatever, I would say, uh, from a standpoint of like the, all the different contacts that we do have between myself and Blake, um, we would be able to get things back and running fairly quickly or get the answers to questions that we would have fairly quickly. It's very important that Blake and myself are extremely integrated. You're gonna have to excuse this, uh, this train that's come by. It's very important that me and my, Blake and myself are very integrated with this uh, before. Unlike some of these other prop firms that are starting, they're basically some random dude. I know I'm in my room too, but it's like some random guy in his room no one's ever seen before that doesn't have any community, doesn't have any experience in prop firms. And is like, I just started a prop firm with, I have a million dollars and I'm going to capitalize all these people. Like, it's, in my opinion, it's, it's crazy. These people are weird, in my opinion. Um, and I think that for the sake of me and Blake having a lot of credibility and actually you can go back and see the timeline of the progression of how we got here has a lot of uh, validity as well. So stay away from any firms that look sketchy. I know Blake posts some interviews and I watch them and I'm like, what the hell is going on with this guy? Uh, how to be a successful prop firm trader. Guys, to be successful, in my opinion, like there's many ways to be successful. Obviously, you need to have a sound strategy. It really just comes down to risk management, right? It comes down to risk management. Make sure you make sure that you are tar targeting on each trade. You have depending on your style. I mean, you know, if you're a swing trader, this, this is what I am for the most part. If you are targeting good risk reward on every single trade, if you are risking consistently 1%. If you are reviewing your trades weekly, you're reviewing what your mistakes are, um, you guys can become successful, not only as a prop trader, just as a trader in general, right? If you're not over leveraging, um, if you're not every single day 
compiling losses, if you're able to psychologically say to yourself, I need to walk away and come back tomorrow and tomorrow's a new day where I can attack this again. And you're collecting your own data and you're evaluating your own trading ability, right? That, in my opinion, will lead to you being a profitable prop firm trader. There are so many, there's so many rules, even for us, like we have the most open rule set, in my opinion, and there's still, there's a lot of rules, right? You got to stay within the daily drawdown. You got to stay within the total drawdown. Um, you know what I mean? I guess other than that, there's like not many rules, but you know, for the most part, there's, there's some rules uh, that are, that are involved. So it's like, to be profitable guys, you have to have a plan. You have to use risk mitigation tactics, you know, use risk management. And you have to target a good risk reward, good risk reward on every single trade. Obviously if you're more sophisticated trading style, you're, you do use an EA, which obviously, you know, our EA rule, but say you are using EA, say you're hedging, say you're doing some other, you know, more unique strategies. That's a more sophisticated version, which at the end of the day, and things are moving towards automation and um, not, this is kind of off topic with prop firms, but I think if you, if you guys can start to learn more about automation, about building your own EAs, because that's what we're advocating for is for people to have their own EAs they built themselves because that is so valuable and it has, you know, there's a differential. If we have one per, if we have one guy selling his EA and there's 50 people on our prop firm using it, it's not, it's not what our investors want. They don't want one EA because that EA goes, you know, south. First of all, if everyone's using the same EA and literally the cumulative like derivations of that EA are the same, it's going to lose its edge. And people don't realize this. Like you can't sell an EA the same one to everyone. If you talk to someone with a good EA and they give you their EA, they will give it with a deviation from what theirs is making decisions on. It will be a little bit different. If they're giving you the same EA as them, guys, it's not long-term sustainable. Um, but yeah, discipline plus risk management. Yep. Uh, I hope the Discord community becomes as helpful and active as this. Yeah, the Discord community right now, it's kind of weird because we have a lot of people who come in that are like, you guys are a scam. And then, you know, we have some people who are helping each other out, blah, blah, blah. Lots of questions being asked. You know, we hope to create a, a better sense of community inside of the Discord chat. Um, you know, in the future, definitely one of our goals. Do, do. Let's see. What is the time since inception? So this is the time since you took your first trade. And what, what time is it? All right, so we're going to wrap it up, guys. We have a few last questions here. Uh, two. All right, let's finish it up with this one. When are you launching your own broker? All right, so we are in the final stages of finalizing a deal to launch our broker. We had originally started working with this other company. They screwed us over, long story short, and we weren't able to open it with them, but we have another provider um, who we're going to open with. It's like a two to three month process with getting all the entities open, getting the server set up, getting all the licenses, everything like that. So what is it? September right now? I don't even know. September 15th. So October, November, December, let's say 2022 goal by January 1st is to have our own broker. I think we're going to have it way before that. Once we do have our own broker, it most likely will take the place of purple trading in Nash markets um, just to be transparent. Uh, but we will see once that does happen. So, all right, guys, this has been the community update. I thank you guys for asking all of your questions. We're going to go ahead now, and we're going to pick one winner for the 50K challenge. So the winner of the challenge is going to be Hanif. Uh, I'm going to write inside of the Discord. He has won the challenge. Again, guys, thank you so much for joining. We can't say enough, like, how much we appreciate all your support. Um, you guys are making this thing run in the right direction, and we are going to do our best uh, to continue to bring some good updates to everyone. So I hope you enjoy the day, and we'll do another update probably sometime next month. Peace out, everybody.